Okay, so more Warframe, and this time I'm going to be taking a quick look at the offensive archering. It is, of course, called the Elytron or Elytron, whatever way you want to pronounce it. Its offensive abilities are all focused on big, huge explosions, with its ultimate having an awesome shockwave effect after it detonates. Now, as far as its stats go compared to the Odonata, the beginner archering, it has got a slightly higher shield. Now, the Odonata is described as being more of a balanced archering with some defensive and offensive capabilities. Whereas the Elytron is just all out offensive, it's just blowing shit up. And if you're looking to build it or buy it, then the blueprint is available in the marketplace for 40,000 credits, or you can buy it outright for 275 platinum. And its three components, the harness, wing, and systems, all drop from intercept missions. So running the mission on Uranus is what you need to be doing, and keep running the mission until you get all of the parts. You might need to pray to Orange Jesus, or sacrifice a goat, or a clan member, maybe the one that keeps being annoying in chat. The Elytron's four abilities are, the first one is called Bloomer, which is where it will fire a rocket that you can explode whenever it is in range of enemies by pressing the ability key for a second time. So basically press number one to launch the rocket and press number one to detonate it. Its second ability is called Core Vent, which is meant to vent out a deadly gas that damages enemies who are chasing you, but it seems to be either crap or completely bugged and does feck all damage. Some reports of it stopping incoming rocket damage, but that might also be a bug. So its third ability is called Pumper, where the Elytron creates a large explosive storm and anything caught in it can take damage from the multiple explosions happening all within the storm and around a huge radius. It can last up to nearly a minute and it is pretty useful for intercept missions when you're trying to defend a node or capture a node. It can come in useful. Now the Elytron's ultimate ability is called Warhead and it is exactly what it says it is. You can launch a powerful wire guided rocket that explodes on impact causing a very large amount of damage and has got a cool shockwave effect like I said at the start that kind of ripples out from the point of impact and I absolutely love using it. Now like I said it is a wire guided rocket so you can steer it after you launch it so you can follow enemies around if you need to but I've found that hitting surfaces near a lot of enemies is a lot more effective due to the sharp movements of enemy ships and drones making your, your rockets actually miss the target. So let me know what you guys think of the Elytron in the comment section below. Are you farming for it? Are you quite happy having the Odonata instead? By all means, let me know. Now at the minute, like I said, archery missions have got a fair few bugs in them. Enemies can get inside meteors, glitch inside them and shoot out, but you can't shoot in at them. Or you're gonna be in a high level intercept missions where enemies just fly around in a huge swarm of fuck you Tenno. You could have anything up to 20 grenade bomb in the living crap out of you as soon as you join into the mission. It can make them less than enjoyable. And I know these bugs can and some have been fixed. And as much as the movement and mission graphics look absolutely amazing, the actual gameplay for me gets kind of boring fast and like I said that's just my opinion that's how I'm feeling right now with the game in general what I was hoping would keep me interested in the game for a much longer time it's just not doing it the archering maps are different yes but the mission types are the same so we're getting more exterminate missions more intercept missions and more sabotage missions and I was just kind of hoping for something new this end game that we've been promised feels like it's not getting any closer and might never actually amount to anything Endgame shouldn't be staying in a survival mission for two, three, four hours or a defense mission for the same amount of time and still not getting the items you're after because it's so RNG based. There has to be something solid for us as players to aim for or it all just feels pointless. It feels like a never ending loop. Each update brings more weapons, frames and event mods but not much else. And if I'm being 100% honest with myself and with you guys, which I always respond to comments, it's one thing that I've always prided myself on as a YouTuber. I like to respond to as many people as I can and I know it's not something that other YouTubers do. I am starting to think that maybe it's time to move away from Warframe and it's never ending loop of grinding and lack of serious end game direction. And I know I'm rambling and I don't mean to, but it's kind of pissing me off and it's just something that I needed to get off my chest. Share your thoughts below guys and let me know what you believe the end game is in Warframe or what it should be or what you would like it to be. Maybe you're new to the game and you're still completely in love with it or you've been around playing it since March 2013 like I have and feel similar to the way that I feel at the minute. Like I said, leave a comment and as always, thanks very much for watching.